Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to, uh, to my video. Sorry, I couldn't do a my video yesterday. If you watched the um, uh, Path of Exile video, I explained that um, there's a massive change to the item shop in game for Smite. So I didn't want to do a build video, and then the very next day, it's it's worthless and useless. Um, so this is the uh, a Smite patch review. In this video, I'll be covering all the uh, the patch notes and how it affects the game. And uh, that's a little creepy eye. What? What is? What is? What is this? All right. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'll be covering everything, and hope you enjoy. So uh, finally, Golden Mercury is now here. It took <laughs> it took a very long time for Golden Mercury to come about. Uh, people always ask for this, and he f he's finally here. I don't know what the holdup was about with Golden Mercury. I guess it was a troll, or uh, something, something of that nature. So. Um, if he'll load up here, um, there we go. There he is, Golden Mercury. That is a fabulous mohawk there of Golden. And uh, here's Legendary. Looks pretty sweet. So I'm sure people will be excited about that. Next, uh, Heavy Metal Thor gets a rework on the special effects. I don't know if I actually show up here, but pretty much like, uh, for example, when he lays down that t uh, Teutonic Rift, it's now, it's like a whole bunch of spikes. He has more sp uh, sp uh, smoke effects, sorry I couldn't speak, and uh, fire effects and whatnot, so his heavy metal looks a lot better um, in game with the effects, so that should be quite fun to mess around with. So the rest of the patch is pretty much um, just a crap load of item changes. So, I'll be jumping into a practice to further describe um, what's up with that. <laughs> and also, I can kind of see for myself what it looks like. And, all, and also, Anubis got reworked, so I'll cover Anubis also. So, um, a majority of the item changes was uh, renaming the items and giving the items different um, icons. So, those get reworked. Therefore, it's probably a little bit harder for uh, some people that have been around Smite for quite a while, um, kind of maneuvering and trying to find what items, uh, what they were, so that's definitely a thing. So the first thing on the list, healing and mana and multi-potion have new icons. So let's go check this out. Wow, okay. So let's just go into consumables. It's, it's purple, yes, that's what I wanted. It's not going to easily tell the difference. Let's see that added a little bit particle effects, a little better shading and lighting. Um, that's pretty pretty cool. I like it. I'm liking it. Hand of the Gods. This is a big one. Hand of the Gods no longer provides objective kill bonus at rank 2. So, before, if you were a juggler, uh, you first buy the level 1 Hand of Gods, and you're good to go for quite a while. And then, you know, you probably level up to level 2. That way, if, you know, your Guardian doesn't have level 3 Hand of Gods ready for whatever reason, um, you can get the uh, objective instant kill threshold with your rank 2, and it also has a shorter cooldown. So that'll work better for junglers. But as you can see, they totally removed the threshold of the, uh, the kill. So now you have to buy Wrath of the Gods, um, as you can see, automatically kills a fire giant gold fury at 25% health or below. So that is something you have to do. But at least they're both 60 seconds. It's just it's going to call you, uh, cost you an additional 300 uh, gold out of your pocket for that. So that has been changed around. So hand of gods past month or so have been getting uh, nerfed and won that and changed it around. So winged one. This is actually quite interesting about winged one. No, it's Winged Blade. Sorry, it's, it's Winged Blade now. Wow, look at this. We got Ancient Blade, Adventurer's Blade, Haste Fatalis, Fatalis, Cursed Blade, Witch Blade. So this used to be Witch Stone. Now it's Witch Blade. Uh, so Winged One. Before, it didn't have attack speed. It was just cooldown, movement speed, a little bit of HP, and a pretty nice passive. Um, the only people that really used this would be Ymir. For like jungle Ymir or just pure speed Ymir. It's a really great item just for Ymir. Um, not too many other people got use out of it. Uh, maybe a Kronos or whatnot. It's more just people that a little rely on the movement speed. But now they added attack speeds to it. So you can use this for, you know, ADCs, I guess. If you want a little more attack speed. As you can see, it's, it comes at a very cheap price at 1850. 
So it's pretty affordable. Passive is pretty neat. And now it's attack speed. Um, this, also, this also makes uh, Jungle Mirror and Mage Mirror a little bit more difficult to handle uh, since he has faster attack speed. And if you are aware of Humir's passive, um, if the target has Frostbite on it, your basic attacks deal additional damage. And that's not including Polynom. If you have Polynom, it's just it's a whole beast with uh, the Mage Mirror. So uh, watch out for Humir's with this Winged Blade now. Moving on. Uh, Witchstone is now Witchblade, obviously you can see here. Uh, Ebonstone renamed to Cursed Blade. So that was th this one. It was uh, Ebonstone into Witchstone. So now it's, you know, Cursed Blade and Witchblade. Mystical Mark is now renamed to Mystical Male. So, Mystical, yeah, he's Mystical Male. Uh, and it also got changed around, looks a little bit different. So, I honestly, I'm not sure why they changed the names. I was quite fine with the names. Uh, it just makes everything more difficult. But at least for the very new people to smite, there's, it doesn't really matter to them since they're still learning the game. But um, <laughs> that's definitely a thing. Enchanted Relics is now Enchanted Trinkets. Um, Lesser Talon is now Talon Trinkets. So what's this Talon stuff? This is the Lifesteal and all that. So... Okay, they changed the name of the uh, Ring 2 Lifesteal items, so nothing really matters there. Uh, it's still Bancroft's Talon, it's still Divine Rune, it's still Polyanon, it's still Pythagoras' Peace, that's good to know. Voidstone, Wardstone is now moved to Magic Focus Tree. What? <laughs> uh, void? Okay. So, I okay. So it's kind of under the, the the penetration and power branch, as you can see here. So if you just hit the uh, penetration uh, checkbox, you can uh, hit magic focus, and now here is the uh, you know obsidian shard, sphere of magus, and void stone. So they count the aura as penetration in a way it is. So I, I guess that's understandable for that. Winged wall and wall of absolution removed from the game. So Wall of Absolution, you've probably seen it more on Sobex and Bacchus. What this was, it gave you like 60 physical protection, uh, 30 magical power, and some MP5 or HP5, something, I forgot what the third set on it was. But it was, it was a little bit of a, a tanky item that delivered you some power. So if you want to go like a tanky mage, you would buy Wall of Absolution. If you're a box or so back and you want to be a little bit more uh, magical power heavy, you would go ahead and buy Wall of Absolution. So that has been removed from the game. I'm not sure if they're going to bring that back, but uh, I guess it wasn't really used that much. Um, I've seen it used a few times. I've used it a few times, mainly as Bacchus, but that's just a, uh, a thing. I just noticed this gold kind of overlays the icon, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, so next, Idol of Concentration. They gave this thing a buff. I used to use it. If you watch my early, what? Idol. I guess it's because I'm a mage. Oh, that sucks. Uh, what this was? Uh, well, actually, I'll go ahead and read off the changes. Rank two and rank three moved to Cloak Tree. All right. The stats changed. Uh, ten, ten physical protection. Okay, so it scales 10 to 10, so the physical protection remains at 10. So uh, before it used to be just magical protection, now it gives physical protection. Now from rank 1 to 2, it's magical protection by like 35 to 55. And now it gives HP, so that's pretty nice, 100 to 125 health. Uh, CDR is now scaling from 7% to 10%. And the passive, you gain an additional 15% damage mitigation for 3 seconds whenever you hit hard with a... Hit hard, hit with a hard CC. There we go. There's my English uh, ability. So this can only occur once every 10 seconds. Um, so that's pretty cool that they gave it HP and physical protection. It used to be um, MP5 magical protection and CDR and the passive. Uh, I used to use this on my Ares build uh, back in the day uh, for just more pure cooldown and magical protection and MP5 uh, and the uh, CDR. So I mean that, that's cool. Um, I, I did hear about this early before the patch uh, sprint. Now the rank one and rank two no longer uh, provide slow immunity on ranks one. No, there we go. I kind of read it backwards. So no more immune to slows if you're in the duration of your rank one or rank two sprints. 
now you kind of forced to buy rank three to see you know immune to slows in duration also um creep and curse and creep your curse <laughs> Creep your curse. Okay. Uh, we can create. Okay. Okay. So it's a little bit more creepier, I guess. Um, you know, with the additional ten percent. So <laughs> that's all. That's all that changed was the renaming of uh, the second uh, creep and curse. Now it's creepier curse. That's uh, what a troll. Uh, cloak tree armored high is now renamed to armor cloak. Cloak protections reduced from 15 to 10, so I cloak out of a small uh, nerf to that. Stone of Gaia. Let's, can I find this here? Stone. Stone of Gaia. Here you are. Okay, so it's been moved into the health and magical protection branch. So that they, it looks like they're starting to combine the items all together to kind of make it easier to sort through it. Uh, so we can see if we start off Talisman, we move up to Emerald Talisman. I like this, and it moves on to Stone of Gaia. Uh, Stone of Gaia also now gives HP, so this is really nice. It's a really cheap item. Um, you still buy it all the time, especially for assault when fighting a lot of magicals. But now it has health. This is great. Really liking it, liking it. So... <sighs> Moving on. We got restored artifacts. That's not re okay. Restored, <laughs> restored artifact. It got nerfed. It looks like reduced magical power from 65 to 50. So that was a little too powerful, I'm guessing. Spiked buckler renamed to round shield. Hunter's bow is re now renamed to throne dagger. Okay, so the golden bow. Actually, I can't look it up since I'm on a magical. So golden bow. If you're not familiar, it gives you I think attack speed, crit power. And also makes your basic attacks uh, splash damage. If you understand what that means, so you hit one mob, and if there's any other mobs near it, it will uh, split the damage off to them. So instead of it being called uh, Golden Bow, it's now Golden Dagger. Fine, whatever. <laughs> so, at least it still has gold in the name in it. Spiked Gauntlets, Cursed Gauntlets, Blood Forge, Soul Eater all have new icons. Uh, apparently, Cursed Gauntlet is still old icon, whatever. Soul Catcher renamed to Bound Gauntlet. Devourer's Gloves now renamed to Devourer's Gauntlet. I, I don't know what's up this gauntlet fetish, fetish they got going here. Ankh, this is pretty important. Ankh has been renamed to Smithy's Hammer. Why the hell is it renamed to Smithy's Hammer? I don't, I don't know. Uh, what Ankh is, it gives you HP and physical protection. And Ankh of, the, Ankh of the Bear is now renamed to Rune Forged Hammer. So apparently the hammer is now for tanky items, whatever. Uh, Morning Star, New Rank 1, that doesn't really matter. Heart Seeker. So most of this is, you know, re uh, just kind of moving around the items. So I'm not going to go through every single item. I was, I'm was, i going to post up the, uh, the full patch notes in the link below if you want every single, you know... <laughs> description of what everything happened where they are and whatnot so um let's see let's see let's see um wow they were named they were named a lot of actives this is pretty big well not really big but it's just a little awkward especially with the creeper curse you got purification bees improved Purification be it's greater purification, what not? Some minor bug fixes. You can no longer report AI bots from the end of the match. Okay, spectator UI overhaul. You see that in the tournament or yeah, tournament if you watch the tournament. God balancing. Here we go. The more better stuff. And that's bad English, but uh, AMC. I'm losing cop honey. Reduced honey duration from 6 seconds to 4 seconds. And reduced the speed debuff from 30% at end to 25%. So, his honey ultimately got nerfed. This makes it easier to chase um, AMC in fights. Uh, personally, I did not have any issues fighting AMC as far as his damage output. So, the past month or whatever, he got nerfed a couple times. So, you'll see him use less. Anubis, the Death Gaze. 
This is his ultimate. Let me exit out of this item shop. Like, so his ulti increased tick rate from every 0.3 seconds to 0.1 seconds. So that is 30 times and 3 seconds instead of 10 times. Get a little bit easier. Also make it a little bit easier. I don't know why my frames are dropping. I'm sorry about that. Increase hit radius of the beam from 1 second to 1.25 second. Uh, 25 radius. So let me go ahead and level this up. Uh, pardon my frame drops. I have no idea what's going on with that. Also they added plenty more of the loading screen cards. Uh, you guys can check that out yourself. It'll take a little bit too long to... Um, why are my frames dropping? Dude, chill out. Chill out. Please. Please, fraps. No. Please, fraps. No. Alright, so... Uh, Geb, his stone shield. This is his three. It's the, uh, you know, the little bubble that gives people additional health. And uh, when you're about to kill him and you end up raging and you just, you know... I hate Geb. Uh, so, Stone Shield, this ability no longer scales off Geb's maximum a HP. Instead of providing 50, scaling up to 250 plus 20 health. Okay, so, basically what they did is, instead of having the percentage based off his HP for his shield, it's now uh, just flat HP rates. So, it's um, at the very end, it's 250 plus 20 per Geb's level. And this caps out at 650 health for his shield. So, uh, with the recent nerfs and whatnot, people would just build pure health on Geb. And I don't know why the why hell this. <laughs> why, Fraps? Why? Why? Ah, okay, so also with Geb, his ulti actually got reduced by quite a bit. So when you have this, his ulti maxed out, it would do fifty percent of your of the opponent's current HP. Now it's down to thirty five percent of the current health. So I guess too too many people were complaining that his ulti hurts too much. I do kind of agree on the extent it could have used a nerf. Uh, nerf. There we go. Um, but I'm not sure if 35% was really necessary. Hunbats. Hunbats is, has a faster attack progression. So it's, uh, one. So it does, like, your full, it does your normal physical damage. Then it does, uh, 0.75 of that. And then it does, uh, 1.25. So if you build more attack speed on Hunbats now, his third strike is going to hit much harder. Uh, so this allows Humbats to be more playable as more of an assassin, and I'm sure a lot of people like that. And um, one second while I scroll down this. Oh, Fraps, I hate you. Uh, so <laughs> since Fraps is as being a, uh, a dick to me, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I pretty much covered everything. I will put up the full patch notes in the link below if you wish to view them. Uh, sorry, I couldn't go over go over every single thing. Uh, as you see, Fraps is not cooperating with me, so I'm very sorry about that. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.